this one is fake cash app. Uh, yeah, I got an email um, about um, a transaction that I did not do. I don't know who this is or what this is for, and was and you got your number to call. Okay. So can you tell me exactly, ma'am, like uh, when did you receive the message? Oh, it was about an hour ago. A little over an hour ago, I think. It's like an hour ago. I think so. All right, let me just try to check it out for you. So can you help me with your name and the transaction ID, ma'am? Yeah, it's Molly Voorhees. It said it was a payment to Alex De Cruz, I think, for two hundred seventy-eight dollars and sixty-five cents. Okay, so can you tell me his ID, ma'am? Like, uh, did you make the payment? Oh, I'm sorry. The ID is nine four two 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 five. And no, I did not do this. That's why I'm calling you. That's what I said at the beginning of the call. I don't even know what this is. I don't even have, I don't think I have cash. I don't have, I've, I've never used Cash App. So I, I, no, I don't know what this is. Okay. Uh, so I can see my right now. Uh, if I pull up the account detail, it says over here that mom um, right now, there's an account mom um, that's under your name, Molly mom. Um. So uh, basically right now, whatever it's open up this account mom, um, okay, make the transaction. I didn't do any, I, okay, I've never used Cash App, I'm sorry. No worries, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, do you live in Arizona, ma'am? Because this Cash App, ma'am, it's used in Arizona and in New Jersey. No, I live in Florida. You live in Florida, right? Yes. Okay. Um, do you know anybody uh, who lives in Arizona or in New Jersey? No, I don't. Okay. So in that case, ma'am, I'm going to have to cancel all this transaction, ma'am, because there's also upcoming transactions, so we need to cancel this, by the way. Well, yeah, cancel and that. Um, I you. guess I'm a victim of yeah. identity theft. I, I don't know anything about this. This is, sounds very suspicious to me, so I should probably get off the phone to you and I'll call um, LifeLock. LifeLock, they're the ones that are monitoring my credit and asking what's going on. Is this the first time that happens to you? Yeah. It never happens before, right? No. I, like I said, I don't have cash yet. No worries, ma'am. No worries, ma'am, okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help you deactivate the cash app account. And, well, just uh, deactivate okay. it. Uh, just deactivate it. Now. I don't know anything about cash app, so just deactivate it. I don't want anything to do with this app or whatever it is. I don't use it and I don't want it. No worries, ma'am, okay? I'm going to guide you a couple of troubleshooting steps, ma'am, from your side, ma'am, to make you more safe than ma'am, okay? So, uh, put me a loudspeaker and go to the apps or the Play Store if you really need a support app. Okay, I don't want to, okay, I don't need a support app. I don't use Cash App. I just told you I don't know who this is and it's not me. Just deactivate the account. Well, maybe I should speak to I a manager because I, I need to. I I'm you. pretty I'll sure. I'm pretty sure I'm a victim of identity theft. I can talk to one of your managers there. Let them know. You can deactivate this account, and I can get off the phone and call Norton LifeLock and ask them what's going on because they're monitoring my credit. They should have let me know about this. That's a large. That's a large amount of money. No worries. No worries. No worries. Okay. So just look at the steps from the number one to you. Just be for your own safety, ma'am. Okay. What's for my own safety? I don't understand. All right. It means that, ma'am, all right? We are protecting you, ma'am, all right? So you need to follow some steps. Okay, no, I'm sorry. Yourself. You're not protecting me, Norton. Okay. LifeLock is protecting my credit. You are just some company. I don't even know who this... I don't use Cash App. I'm sorry. I know. I don't have anything against your company. Hey, ma'am, your LifeLock... Your, okay, the company that you trust, ma'am, the LifeLock, ma'am, okay? It only helps you with your credit score, ma'am, all right? So, I believe... No, they don't help me, sir, sir, ma sir. Okay, you're, you're mistaken, right? sir. They don't help me with my credit score. They monitor my credit, and if anything bad happens, they immediately let me know. Like if somebody tries to open a credit card or open a, yes, a cash app, yes, app yes, thing in exactly. my name, 
So I need to I need to contact them and find out what's going on. Um, can I speak to a supervisor and just let this count? Because I don't need to I don't need to be involved with Cash App. I'm not involved. You need to understand, Mom. You need to understand. Okay. Lifelog, uh, Northern Lifelog, not everything, Mom. Okay. Yeah, they are. They've all helped right. me out a no, lot. They, they've, 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 they've monitored my credit. They, they, they send me all kinds of things. Yes, they do. I pay them good money. They do. Really good job of monitoring my credit. No worries. Credit has nothing to do with your identity, Mom. All right? Yes, it does. Okay. There, yes, it does. Because if somebody tries to, to uh, steal Look, my identity on, and open up, on, a, on. And open up a credit account, okay, then okay. yes, they I would let you, me know. I got you. I'm I got you. Okay. I got you. I got you. All right? Yeah. Okay. I understand, I understand. Okay. I'm going to involve LifeLog now. Okay, can you help me with your uh, Northern LifeLog number? Let me just call them and let me let, let them explain. Okay? Hold on a second. Hold can you help on. Me with your Northern LifeLog number? One second, I gotta look. I don't have it. Hold on. Okay, it's 1-800. You got it? Yeah, 1-800. Hold on, hold on, okay. All right. 1-800, okay. Yeah, 543. 3562. 3562, right? Mm-hmm, that's correct. Okay. Now, do you have any identification number through the Northern Mark? Well, I just give them my name. I got. I, they might have it under my email. Just your name. They might have my email, probably. Uh, like customer, customer ID. I don't have. I don't have it in front of me. If I called them right now, if I got the phone and called you, I could give them probably my social security number and my email, and they'd be able to look it up by that. I imagine. Okay. And we have to with the Nordic, Mom. You don't have to worry, Mom. Okay? All right. So I will let them call, Mom, on the same number, Mom. 1-800-543-3562. Okay? Right. And when they call you, Mom, just verify your identity to pull up the right details, Mom. Okay? All right. All right? Okay. I just hit mute. Wow, he actually turned this, he's really trying hard. He's turning this into, you know, a Norton LifeLock scam. And he asked me to look up the phone number so he could spoof it. They are evil. I need you to hold the line, ma'am, okay? I'm contacting them. Okay? All right. I've been on hold for over 10 minutes right now. They're probably trying to figure out how to twist this scam. They're getting really desperate, and who knows where this is going to go. But they're, I'm going to give them a fake social security number, so that may be what they want. I don't know. I don't know. Because they're not going to... Oh, we hung up. Oh, no. Fucking cup. Yeah, I was on the phone with somebody and I got disconnected. I was on hold forever. Oh, ma'am, I'm so sorry for that. We got disconnected, but I am trying to call you, ma'am, but you didn't answer. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't. I was sorry. I was on the phone and I didn't hear anything come through. I'm sorry for that, ma'am. So sorry for that. And can you please do one thing? Can you please uh, write down my direct extension number? Because if the call got disconnected, you can call me back on that number. Okay, hold on one second. Let me get something to put for it sure, in there. For sure. Uh-huh. Okay, go ahead. It's 669. Yeah. Okay. So, ma'am, uh, just tell me one thing. Uh... Which cell phone do you have? Is it the Apple phone or the Android? It's Apple. Oh, okay. So, ma'am, just put my call on speaker so I can connect you to the secure server of the cash app. No, I, okay, I don't know. Are you the person I just talked to? 
about my Norton Wi-Fi? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yeah, I want to talk to them. I don't, like I said, I don't want anything to do with Cash App. I, I don't, I didn't do this, and, and now maybe I should get off the phone and call Norton? I mean, if you can't, if, I mean, I'm, I'm really upset and I'm worried, so I need to get off the phone and, and talk to Norton and, and find out what's going on with my identity. I feel like I've been a victim of identity theft, which is very important. I'm sorry, I don't, I'm, I don't mean to be mean, but I don't want to mess with Cash App. I don't have anything to do with it. I don't want anything to do with it. It's not me. Ma'am, who, ma'am, who told you that we are going to the Cash App? I am connecting you to the Norton security, ma'am. No, sir, I don't have Norton Antivirus, I have Norton LifeLock. They monitor my credit, sir. It's a different thing. It's not antivirus. It's I, don't want, uh, I do understand, ma'am. That is the reason I am connecting you to the secure server of the Norton. So we I can don't cancel know. this I, I don't see how, I, I, don't see, I don't understand how Cash App can, can connect me to Norton, and I don't want to connect to Norton Antivirus. I just need to get off the phone and call them. If you can't help me call them, then I'll have to get off the phone and call them, sir. As I need to, they said, you know, if there's ever a problem, I need to talk to them on the phone. Ma'am, we are from the Norton. Your cash app. I just got off the phone with No, ma'am, we are from the No, ma'am, we are from the Norton. No, sir, that you said you were with cash app, app sir. You, you said you were with Cash App, sir. You said you were with Cash App, and you, this, is about, this is about a Cash App transaction. Ma'am, Cash App and Norton are the brother's company. That is the reason we are connecting you to the Norton security, so we can cancel this transaction. Okay, I don't want, okay, I don't want Norton anti, okay, sir, I'm sorry, I don't want Norton antivirus either. I just need to speak to Norton LifeLock. If you can't connect me to them, I don't know what you were doing, but I need to get off and call them right now because this is a thing about identity theft. I need to speak to them on the phone. Okay, give me a second now. All right. Thank you for holding the line. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here, sir. Yes, ma'am. We are. From, yes, ma'am. We are from the northern, ma'am. Okay, which division? Yeah. Because Norton has two divisions. They have their antivirus mm. division and they have LifeLock, which does credit monitoring. Which one are you with? I want to make sure I get the right department. From the credit, ma'am. Okay, all right. I think I have a problem with, a, with a, I think I've been a victim of identity theft. I'm upset at you because you're supposed to let me know about this. These people from Cash App contacted me. I don't have a Cash App account, so that's a red flag right there. Said that there's a fraudulent activity, and you should have uh, let me know about that. You're supposed to let me know. Um, what happened exactly? Because I'm unable to get you. So please, could you just elaborate on what happened so that I can help you accordingly? I would be on the same page. Yes. You guys monitor my credit, which means you monitor all three credit bureaus for any suspicious activity. If, if somebody tries to open up a credit card in my name or anything, do anything in my name. I got this message from Caps, Cash App about a transaction to some person I don't know for almost $300. And to call them um, if I didn't do it, which I didn't, I, then I did. And now I've been talking to them and trying to explain to them I don't know who you are. I don't use Cash App. do anything to do with you. And now I realize I'm a victim of identity theft, so now I'm on the phone with you asking you why you didn't contact me. And let me know about this. All right, ma'am. I sincerely apologize for the inconvenience cause. However, you don't need to worry. Is this your registered mobile number? Yes, it is. All right, ma'am. So just give me a minute so that I can pull up the details and let you know each and everything. All right? All right. Thank you. I just hit mute. Boy, they're really trying to save this. He is not Norton the Credit. It's like it's called LifeLock, idiot. He's not from them. If he says he wants to connect to my server, I'm going to have to call him out because, no, you don't do that. You just take care of things over the phone. Thank you for being online, ma'am. I'm here. All right. So I said with the details, ma'am, uh, we tried to contact you. We also sent you a mail. Could you just confirm your registered email ID so that I could check whether it's a right mail or a wrong mail? Yeah, um, are you ready? Yeah, go ahead. 420 at gmail.com Okay, alright. So I 
the details that I have, it shows at uh, it shows that at Yahoo. But do not worry if that is the case. So, because we tried to, as I told you, I checked with the registered mobile number, but okay, uh, we, we just I'm sent sorry. you. Did you say you saw, you, saw, you uh, had my address at Yahoo? Yeah. I don't know how, I don't understand how you, I mean, I get alerts from my Gmail all the time from you guys. I mean, let me know everything's okay. I mean, no, you're... I could, yeah, yeah. So I could see that your mail ID was updated a week ago. So I don't know who did that, but it was updated. And I don't know who it, did, who it well, was done no by, but... Well, there's no way they could do that unless... Uh, there's the, no way they could call or anybody could do that unless they had my personal information. And and, and if, if they did it a week ago, why didn't you... Let, yeah. Oh, oh. I don't understand. As I happened. told you, ma'am, we tried to contact you. I t I, as I'm trying to tell you that, we tried to contact you. But a week ago, your email ID was updated. And once you're trying to reach on the email ID that you give us, and we also tried to give you a call on the registered mobile number. Well, I didn't but get I don't a call. know why, uh, but we... Mm. My, my phone but number hasn't Mama, changed. I could see with the notes. Okay. I, I get that, I get that. With the, with the notes, I could see that. Our executive tried to reach the, tried to reach to you and in concern of this case. When did you do that? When did you try to reach out to me? Ma'am, we tried to reach you yesterday itself. I can see with the notes that we got. We, we can see with the footprints that we got over here. Well, my phone number was the same yesterday as it is today. That doesn't make any sense unless you dialed the wrong number. Did somebody change my phone number with you guys too? I completely see as per the registered email number and number ending with 5056, that is a registered email number, right? Registered mobile number. Yeah, yeah, 5056. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So from that, I, I checked the information. Uh, it showed me that we tried to reach you. And as I told you, I also checked with the, the registered email ID, but we were unable to. All right, well, I, I guess I, I, I'm a victim of identity theft, and I have to get off the phone with you and... Or you, you guys are supposed to clean this up for me somewhat. And I, what, do I, what do I do now after um, after all this? Do not worry, ma'am. We got to proceed to stop this fraud that is being committed on your name and on your account. Just make sure that you follow the things that will be guided by me, okay? Because there's a third person who is trying to use your identity and committing fraud on that. All right? All right, well, I'm ready to give you the information because I had to talk to you a while back because I was, um, the reason I've got you guys is because um, there was a data breach, so I've had to talk to you on the phone before, so I know I'm supposed to give you my social security number and go from there. I'm sorry, could you just repeat that because your voice got break in between? I'm sorry, um, I know I'm a victim of identity theft. Um, I had to, the reason that you guys are monitoring my credit is because there was a data breach and my information got out. Um, I guess, uh, yeah, so I guess, um, and yeah, last time I talked to you guys over the phone, they said, to, um, when I call in, just give my social security number and go from there. So, do you need that? Yeah, please go ahead. It's 227. All right. Thank you for seeing the details, ma'am. Mm-hmm. All right. And, ma'am, uh, could you just go ahead? So, since there's a third person who's trying to come and fraud on your name and on your account, what we're going to do is we're going to immediately connect you to secure server of Norton, okay? Why do I need to connect to your server? So, just to the phone. I've got to get off the phone with you, and I'm pretty sure I have to call my sheriff and the FTC and... I was afraid this was going to happen. You guys coached me that you said you were going to freeze my credit reports. Or help teach me or tell me how to freeze my credit reports if, if anything bad happened. Oh, he hung up. Really? You gave up? I'm calling him back. I'm definitely calling him back. No, I'm not going to call him back. I'm, I'm just not. I'm not going to call him back. Because... 
that's pretty it's pretty much over they know that i know they're not lot norton lifelock and they're just desperate to connect to my computer he thinks he got a good social security number but i made it up <laughs> so good luck using that with anything wow cash app turning into norton lifelock and they're just tech scammers that want to get on your computer yeah they're losers if you get a cash app text and you don't have cash app you know it's a scam but if you do have cash app do not call the number in the text and do not reply to the text call cash app directly and be safe guys <laughs>